So to get the most out of an online retreat, I'm going to give you a few tips of what you can do before, during and after the retreat. So the first thing to do is to tell the people that you live with that you're going to be on retreat. That will really, really help you to engage fully in the, the retreat and it also will help them to understand uh, what you're doing and they can support you as well. The second thing is to make a shrine in your home, somewhere that can be like a retreat space, even if it's just a corner of a bedroom. And really, really important to make it beautiful. You know, take care to create a space that you really, really want to go to where you'll engage with the retreats, like a retreat space in your home. And the third thing is to decide before the retreat starts, decide what you're going to engage with outside of the retreat. So perhaps, um, you know, uh, making sure you're not going to spend too much time online, uh, deciding what sort of family and work commitments you're going to engage with during the retreat, just so that you can really um, create a contained space and engage wholeheartedly with the retreat. And then when the retreat starts, see if you can come to everything. And because it's online, make sure that you take break in the breaks, make sure you go outside, um, go for walks, really enjoy uh, nature where you can and build connections on the retreat. So make friends with people that are also on the retreat, get in touch with them via our Slack lounge or message them when you're on Zoom. You know, invite people to um, have Zoom calls or meet up in person if you live near each other. That will really help to feel a sense of connection uh, with the other retreatants. And then lastly, when the retreat ends, create a spacious day for yourself uh, for the day that the retreat ends. Really let yourself, um, give yourself time to reflect on the, the meaning of the retreat and what's come out of it for you. So those are my tips for before, during and after. And I hope that you really, really enjoy the retreat and get the most from it that you can.